In today's video, I am going to explain the solutions on third order linear homogeneous reference relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics. See here we have to solve the recurrence relation a n plus a n minus 3 is equal to 0 where n greater than or equal to 0. See here according to the solution the given recurrence relation is the given recurrence relation is a n plus a n minus 3 is equal to 0. So, first of all, we have to write the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is the characteristic equation is here it is of order 3. So, this will be m cube plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to find the roots for this. So we have a formula as a cube plus b cube formula is equal to. So what is a cube plus b cube? So this will be a plus b into this is a square minus a b plus b square. So, so if I apply this formula then what will be m cube plus 1 cube? So m cube plus 1 cube can be written as m plus 1 into so this is m square minus m into 1 plus again this is m square. So here I can write this as m plus 1 into m square minus m plus 1 plus 1. So now we have the roots as m plus 1 is equal to 0 and here this is m square minus m plus 1 is 0. So how to find the roots for this? So for finding the roots m so we have a formula that minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a so in this if i substitute then our m value will be see here our m value what is minus b minus of minus plus 1 so root over b square so what is b square this is 1 minus 4 into 1 into 1 by this is 2 into 1 so, m is equal to 1 plus or minus root over 1 minus 4 by 2. So, m is equal to 1 plus or minus this is root 3 into i by 2. So, here if you see this value is minus 1. So, we got minus 1. So therefore, the roots are, see here the roots are m is equal to minus 1 and see this is 1 plus root 3 i by 2 and this one is 1 minus root 3 i by 2. So, here the roots are real as well as complex roots, imaginary roots. And how to write the solution for this? So, for writing the solution, see the solution is given as for these roots, the solution is, the solution can be written as a n is equal to. See here, for the real root I am writing, I am taking taking this the special root a n is equal to this is a c1 minus 1 power n and this can be written as r power n times of this is a c2 cos n theta plus c3 sin n theta so what is r here see i'll show you r is nothing but p square plus q square see here we have 1 plus or minus see this is 1 plus or minus root 3 i by 2 so this can be split into this is half plus or minus root 3 by 2 into i so this is p plus or minus q i now if i substitute here then our r value will be root over what is p square here p is nothing but half square and q is nothing but root 3 by 2 whole square so, r is equal to root over this is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. So, r value is equal to root over this is 4 by 4 and r value is equal to 1. And again we have tan theta. So, tan theta value is equal to. So, tan theta. So, theta is equal to. So, this is uh, q by p. Theta is equal to this is tan inverse of this is q by p. So, theta value is equal to tan inverse of what is q here? q is nothing but root 3 by 2. What is p here? So, p is nothing but half. So, if I cancel this uh, 
to then see what remains here theta will be tan inverse of this is root 3. So when we will get root 3 when theta is equal to see here when theta is equal to 60 degrees. So for 30 1 by root 3 and for 60. So theta is equal to here this is pi by 3. So we got theta is equal to pi by 3 and r is equal to 1. So in this if I keep r value and theta value and that will be the solution. Therefore the solution is equal to this is a c1 minus 1 par n plus r par n times of this is a c2 cos n theta plus c3 this is a sin n theta. See here. So, if I put all the values here, then this will be the solution. Therefore, the solution an is equal to c1 minus 1 par n. What is r? r value is nothing but 1. So, this is 1 par n. c2, this is cos. What is theta here? Pi by 2. So, this is uh, pi by 3 n. So, n pi by 3. So, this is n pi by 3 plus c3 sin n pi by 3. And this is how we have to solve and this is so simple. If the roots are complex roots, this is the procedure and this is the process we have to write. So here the given recurrence relation is a n plus a n minus 3 is equal to 0 where n greater than or equal to 3. The given recur recurrence relation is like this and the characteristic equation is m q plus 1. And this is the formula and according to the formula we got the roots as m is equal to minus 1 as well as plus or minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i by Two. So, if the roots are complex roots, we have to write in this frame and here the roots are real and uh, real real root. This is C1 minus 1 par n and according to the complex roots, we have to write in this process and R is nothing but root over P square plus Q square. So, from this, what is P here? So, this is P is equal to half and Q is equal to root 3 by 2. So, R value we got as uh, 1 and theta value is tan inverse of uh, Q by P and theta is 60 degrees. So, if I substitute here in the solution, so this will be the general solution for the third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation. And thank you so much for watching and this is for today and tomorrow I will be uploading the solutions for non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Please have a look at those and please practice and definitely you can score more. Thank you so much.